Welcome to another Stage Analysis members video. It is Sunday the 26th of February 2023 and I'm going to run through a few of the, the volume movers in, in either early stage two or developing in stage one still in to begin tonight's video um, before getting into some of the, the recent watch list stocks that from the last few months that are reporting earnings this week. So a little bit of a, a different one for the watch list stocks this week as with the market pulling back, looking for see potential reactions in either direction. So see how they play out during the week. But there were 63 stocks, I believe, from the, the watch list, which from the last few months that I've got that are reporting in the coming week. So we're going to have a look at the, I think I've cut it down to around 38 of those that are still looking constructive as they go into their earnings week. So before getting on to the, the more regular content indexes, relative industry group, relative strength and the um, industry group bell curve and of course the, the main focus of the, the market breadth weight of evidence to see what's been going on there so as I said starting off tonight looking at some of the, the recent movers either on earnings a bit of volume moving into potential late stage one early stage two type moves then LNTH for example is a, a gap up move this week on earnings still not in stage two as yet if we change this to the what we call the, the SATA chart you can see it did make a obviously a, a breakout attempt as such from the lower base structure still within a broader resistance range from this significant bar where it gapped down previously but you can see the stage analysis technical attributes which is 10 of the, the technical attributes that we look for in the stage analysis method in order to help define the, the various stages the characteristics we look for as such so it's moved up to a 9 of 10 on the weekly there so if I flip through into the the weekly charts here and have a look in the drop down to the daily chart you can see the the gap up move we did have a, if a look at the earnings quickly you can see there was triple digit earnings growth and revenue growth in this one so obviously very very strong move we've got a massive gap up move in this from the earnings result there so jumped up around 20 percent then managed to follow through on friday with a 3.46 percent move higher so showing some good initial strength versus the the market weakness you can see obviously the relative strength back above the, the zero line here so short term if we put free atr levels on you can see we're running running hot at the moment above free atr levels so over bought in the near term here be looking for to see how it consolidates around this level and whether it can hold this now potentially rising 200 day moving average so i'd be looking for it to to develop within this range here it starts to drop back below and especially if it starts to drop back below the, the 200 day moving average then obviously that would that would be a sign of weakness so in the near term looking for this one to to consolidate potentially could then set up for a potential stage two breakout attempt neo neo genomics another one that moved into stage two reasonably recently so about four weeks or so now maybe two depending on which levels you're taking there if you drop down to a daily chart see a little bit close here we've got some near-term pivots so an initial failed attempt here and tried again weak initial attempt but didn't fail rolled and carried on so i'd say that that was your potential stage two breakout area around there although we did get that obviously a more decent attempt later on in the, the middle part of february here before this this earnings gap move up here which is now consolidating again don't want to see it drop back below this significant bar ideally so you want to see this this volume here that we got hold so go back to the weekly as I said, you can see it's only just moving into early stage two here, starting to break some levels of resistance from the, the prior base structure here. You can see how it developed through stage four. It's turning into stage one. Obviously, as I've talked about on previous videos, a lot of the, the base structure actually develops in stage four. So you can see until until this point here. This is still stage four, but once we start to move, start to get moves back above and closes back above the 30 week moving average, it then changes the, the structure from a bit of a change of behavior into a, a stage one structure. So not a redistribution structure into a, an accumulation structure. So and then starting to move up and pushing out and with this now sign of strength as it moves up and out into early stage two. This one's potentially got a lot of resistance from the depth of the, the stage four decline here. So it might 
take a little while, but obviously attempting to move into early stage two here. Another one from the software group here, ACVA, also moving out into early stage two recently. You can see some near-term pivot levels here. So this would be your, your stage two breakout week, four weeks ago here. So attempting to move higher now following, I think this was another gap up move. So I think this was another earnings move here. Pull back 5% on Friday. So a fairly big pullback, but it did have a jumbo move the day before on, the, on that gap up day. So 16%. So only around a, a third relative to the actual move up the prior day and was on lower volume there. So as long as it starts to hold this, this range through here and doesn't start to drop back below there, we're potentially moving higher in early stage two here. So as you can see, obviously the previous area where it started to break out into stage two. So again, go back to the weekly. So areas of resistance in this one, if you put the Chimuku cloud on, you can see some longer term resistance, which it hasn't yet broken above. As obviously it had a deep stage four decline before starting to show some signs of life and developing a stage one structure. So still resistance to, uh, through this area, 10 to 14 range here. It's not clear skies until it starts to get back above there. So in a, in a resistance zone currently. Lynn, this was an interesting one this week, flipped on Friday, not sure, I think it was on news actually, I don't think it was on earnings, so you can see there was a big, big reversal move on Friday here, which moved the commodity commodity chemicals group back up in the RS rankings into the, into the top 10 of the RS rankings, I think, or the top 12. One or two, but see heavy volume on this reversal move here, testing the, the top of the range. And if we look at it on the weekly chart here, you can see it's testing all the way on an adjusted, adjusted basis the 2021 highs here, which I believe are all time highs in this one. You can see it's had a massive monthly stage two advance since 2017 here. You can see a monthly stage two breakout there. See with some significant pullbacks along the way to the 30 month moving average, but now attempting to make a continuation breakout to new highs. So, looking for a further move in this one. Lazy Boy LZB also with a recent stage two breakout attempt about four or five weeks ago, one of these weeks here. So, always saying you don't have to be too accurate with your exact breakout points there. It's kind of when you're doing stage analysis, when you're quickly scanning through charts, you just want to get a, a rough feel of where they are. So, you can see this was generally the area where it started to move potentially into early stage two. As you can see, still not wasn't fully through resistance zones. We've got this significant bar here, also a range of resistance, which you would expect through here. So it's not out of a major area of resistance. You can see obviously this range here, some sideways resistance too. So it's gonna have some headwinds ahead of this one. A bit of a choppy stage four decline prior, but did manage a decent stage two run through 2020 into early 2021 there. So showing potential in the past for a, a decent stage two move. A little bit extended in the short term here now. So you can see, obviously, with this gap up move, holding well in the near term here, consolidating. So we don't want to see it drop back below this area here. So ideally, hold above that $30 level there. If we drop back to the ATR candles here, you can see pushing up into the free ATR level. So extended in the short term, would expect some consolidation, some kind of pullback within here whether it forms a vcp and pushes out whether we get a deeper move will give you a, a attempt to strength if it starts to obviously test the lower end of this then that would potentially be a sign of weakness if it can't hold so we'll see how it develops around these these earnings gaps how they develop around that significant bar where this volume obviously huge volume came in obviously it's very important. You ideally want to see the, the stronger, more it develops in the upper half of the range or pushes out, gives you a more sense of strength versus if it develops in the lower half of the range and starts testing the bottom end. It's a, obviously much more of a sign of weakness and a potential short-term climactic move. So it gives you a, a good idea of what's going on in that regard. R-E-L-Y, so it's an interesting one, starting to move into early stage two, potentially this week. And that big volume move, more than two times the average weekly volume there, so 9 million volume on a, see a fairly low score here, so $14.19 there at the moment. We're going to the free ATR candles here again, pushing up to the free ATR level, consolidating, bit of chop coming in there, but holding that 
that gap up move there at the moment holding around the top of the range so you can see potentially if you take some lower levels through here you could potentially argue this area here it started to push out into stage two with some weak volume there obviously a much more convincing attempt at this point up into the 14 dollar level here and clearing the the base structure which obviously had a potential i think this is called a, a pump and dump ipo structure here where it immediately it price is far too high and then just goes immediately into a stage four decline so stage four into stage one and now pushing out into potential early stage two so we need to see some ideally start to see some follow through push out you might need to consolidate you might get a, a base on base type structure develop before it can it can push any higher but obviously if it starts to come back in failure here we could it could turn into a, an up thrust so always with a stage two breakout attempt be aware that it could turn into an up thrust which is one of the, the short entry points in the wyckoff method so the failed breakout can be very powerful on the if it starts to come back in again the other way and sometimes can obviously go directly straight back to the bottom of the range and out into a stage four continuation so be aware it acts in the as the opposite to a, a spring so spring at the bottom of a range and a up thrust at the top of the range so you, generally if you're on the short side then obviously up thrusts are, are what you're targeting there on those breakout attempts as they fail so earnings fail this is why failed earnings moves can be very powerful in in both directions when they're in those kind of positions so ANSS also highlighted this one again this week it's been in the watch list for a while I'm starting to push out into stage two about a month or so ago five weeks or so ago there testing old resistance levels through here at the moment not yet through you can see obviously yeah bigger level from prior back in early 2021 when we had this massive change of behavior after the stage two advance it had your stage two advance then a change of behavior which puts it into stage three so you've got a buy and climax or make um, reaction secondary tests and starting to to move into stage three and then ground its way up then failed with a with a small up thrust here at the top of the range and started to to turn so wipe off short entry points as it comes back down again before you move into make start breaking down into stage four obviously stage analysis entry points there as it starts to roll and on the pullback so currently obviously attempting to move higher but in a in a zone of resistance here so potentially might need to chop and go sideways for a while here again with these earnings gap moves once they've moved up here we want to see how they develop it's at a 300 level as well so another potential reason for resistance there as well with a obviously a 100 number so looking for this to how this consolidates task earnings coming out tomorrow so this is on the the earnings watch list for this week as well so after the market closed tomorrow it's developing in stage one as you can see here so as i said once you don't get the stage one until either this week or this week here so this one was more convincing so at this point through the base this is still stage four then the base structure starts to change behavior into stage one you can now see we've got our potential for this to start to push up got some levels here but the ipo week low as well and some multiple obviously short-term pivots so if we drop in on this on the daily so always do stage analysis on a multiple time frames you can see we've obviously got these near-term levels to watch through here for resistance around 24 we've also got some closer pivots one that's formed a couple that have formed above the 200 day moving average here so potentially you could argue if it starts to push through this 22 area here could be an early stage two but still under resistance but obviously we'd want to see some strength if it did if it was only a weak move through there then you would give it the benefit of the doubt and still stage one so and then wait for a, the higher move but if you get a really strong move through there then potentially could be moving into early stage two again with earnings moves we want to it could gap the other way if it starts to go back down to the other way here then obviously that would be a, a fail a little bit of a local up thrust but failed and come down so it'd be a change of behavior and then could obviously turn it to the short side there so could be one on either side of the market there panw 
attempting to move into early stage two here. Some big volume this week, closed strongly, plus 10.25% on the week. So you can see it's got a bit of spring type action through here. We've got a little terminal shake out there for four or five weeks. We're moving back up again, pushing back through to the top of the range here. Not yet cleared. Obviously, these highs from back in what was that, August 2022, looking at on the, the daily chart here. See this gap up move there, obviously potentially on earnings. You've got multiple highs, swing highs here above the 200 day moving average. So potentially it's moved back into early stage two here, as I said, but it's still under a uh, zone of resistance. So we'll be looking to see how it develops within this, this range potentially. OLED also moving into early stage two recently in the backup range here, rebounding in the backup range. So if we look at this on the daily log chart, you can see the push up into early stage two, obviously through some resistance here as well. Now pulled back in in the backup and rebounding. So looking for a, a continuation move either straight up and out or potentially some consolidation with a little bit of volatility contraction ideally there. It needs to consolidate. MTZ up and out into stage two a little while ago, came out through the backup range, now attempting to, to push higher. So looking for a, a push through that key $100 level. Gill also in position in stage one, potential for a stage two breakout attempt. SQ potentially early stage two, but from a smaller base structure, as I said before, we've got these areas where you're not quite sure whether it's still in stage four or developing the stage one structure. So if this is your change of behavior here, so you've got selling climax, automatic rally, some secondary testing, which then undercut the lows of the range here, that we have a shakeout move and then start to form some higher lows and push up. We've got near term pivot. So potentially moving into early stage two here. We need to drop onto the daily chart and look for the, where the 200 day moving average is. So you can see it's had a small move above the 200 day moving average and pull back in. So there's potential starting to push into stage two here, but it's come back in fairly strongly here. Some bigger volume on that move. So tempting to reverse back up. So I'd still say, even though technically it's in early stage two here, we'd still give it the, the benefit of the doubt as a obviously a a later stage one stock so looking for a, a stronger move through the the 90 kind of area would be would be preferable to, to start to say it's more convincingly attempting to move into stage two